Urgent care and ER providers, what should you do with a traumatic tympanic membrane perforation? Let's find out. Should you put the patient on antibiotics? Not necessarily. Unless I have a patient with purulence coming from the TM perforation, I don't put them on antibiotics. All right, let's look at this patient. This patient came in. This is a right ear. This right here is moringosclerosis, and you can see the clear fluid coming through the hole right there. Now, that's not pus. So what did I do for this patient? I put him on some ophloxacin and drops, and the ophloxacin and drops were safe in the middle ear. So I did this five drops twice a day for about 10 days. The eardrum sealed, and there was no infection. And what about this patient? This patient had a little trauma, a little blast injury, um, or maybe even a little forceful injury to that left ear, and you can see that tiny little TM perforation there. What did I do for this patient? Nothing. Dry ear precautions, no swimming, and that goes for anyone with TM perforation. And this healed up in about 10 days. The good news is 79 to 97% of these patients are gonna heal spontaneously without any intervention. Should they go to the ENT provider? The answer is yes. We want to make sure that the TM healed, but we probably want to check their hearing to make sure there wasn't middle ear bone problems causing disarticulation and a conductive hearing loss. So here's one of the patients that didn't end up healing. What you can see is a mature tympanic membrane perforation, and yes, this patient eventually needed surgery to fix this hole. Hope you found this helpful. Please go to compassiomedical.com for more information.